task four. This is called extended writing. Write an article, 100 to 130 words for a website about rules at your school, university, or place of work. You should write. Describe some of the rules at your school, university, or workplace and say why we need rules in places like this. So these are the two most important uh, questions. Nidhi, whenever we write a task, we always make an outline. Yeah, as I always tell you that, for example, if you're talking about this task that describes some rules at your school. So first, for example, if we choose school, so we can say first rule is be on time. Be on time. We can also call it be punctual. You might have heard about it. That's the first rule uh punctual how do you spell punctual punctual okay second rule in school is don't use your mobile phone right or wrong yes so i think it's always there this rule that don't use don't use mobile don't use mobile number three i think in most schools the rule is don't wear makeup to school yes. right yes. don't wear makeup and makeup uh, what else? You tell me more. Number four. Mm, do not bunk your classes. Or maybe you can, maybe we can say that uh, wear, wear proper uniform. Wear? Yeah, proper uniform. More. You have gone to school lately, so tell me more. What are the other rules? Come on time. That's already that's already we have written in there more. Anything else that comes to your mind? No. Hmm. Well, it must. Anything else? Um, I think in some schools, this, there's a rule that don't sit with boys, you know? What do you think? Or not? No. That is boy-girl school. We sit together. Then what else? Think about it. I think these four are enough. You know, be on time, don't use mobile, don't wear makeup, wear proper uniform. We can write a complete article about this. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. The second second point is uh, why you need rules in school. Why? Now we're going to talk about reasons why you need rules. Why you need rules. Number one is for discipline. Yes, discipline. Number two. Rules are important yes. to teach values teach and respect. Okay. Number three, why there are schools at school, rules at school to, uh, to uh, oh, oh, apologies, so that uh, people can, students can behave well, right? Yes, behave well. Behavior, good behavior. And I think fourth rules, why are there rules at school, Nidhi? You, you tell me better. Why, why do you have rules? Number one is behavior of the student under control. And also, I think... Uh, learn, learn something. Hmm. You... Yeah, learning, learning. So we have already learned that, right? Teaching values yeah. and respect. Yeah. That's already there. One more. Mm. Why do we have rules at school? 
Why, why, why do we have rules at school? Mm. It's coming to my mind. For me, the biggest point is discipline. For me, the biggest point is a good behavior of the students. Mm. Also teaching them values and respect. What else? I think to avoid to avoid arguments and fights at school, right? To avoid okay. argument or fights at school. There's another thing that is called sense of equality. Sense of equality. I'll tell you why, Nidhi, this is needed. Because if you have a mobile phone, the, the poor child will feel very bad. If you wear makeup, the other girl will not feel good. Right? Yes. So in order to feel I, same, to feel same, that everybody is same in school. You know, no matter you're rich, no matter you're Muslim, no matter you're Hindu, you're Christian, no matter what your religion is, you are same yeah. at school. I think so. So teaching uh, people uh, how sense of equality and sense of similarity. Nidhi, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, I understood. I think this is the biggest thing that people try to teach at school. That if you have money, don't try to show off. If you have yeah. a, a, a good, uh, like if you have, a good phone don't try to bring it at school because other students will not feel good about it makeup don't wear it if you th there are some girls at school you know some girls are very simple the other girls will try yes. to wear different braids maybe different hair color maybe something else so i think they they look different then right and teachers don't right. like that. who say that wear wear everything the same mm -hmm. i mean don't wear it differently all right, now it is time to look at your writing, Nidhi. Okay, in the in the school, don't allow in the school, don't allow phone and when you care it school you wear full uniform and what is this? Tidy up. Tidy, tidy. up. Tidy up. Wrong spelling. It carries a Y in it too. School. Uh, rules come in school time not to be late you come late you are not entered in the class okay Nidhi this is not good and it is important uh, that we uh, what's this we needs rule hmm? we follow rules yeah in the in the because the students bring phone in the school and they don't focus, concentrate. I think so. But wrong spelling. Focus, you can use the word focus, F-O-C-U-S, in the study. Everyone, every do, every do time they look, time uniform is important, beautiful. This is not a pass. This is a fail. Okay, no problem. Let me help you write it down. Nidhi, a good reader is a good writer. So always pay attention to this is not a pass. This is a fail. Anyways, let's let's quickly try to create some words in here, okay? Using the timeline that I have put in here. Ready? Ready. Okay, first of all, you will start this. How will you start this essay? You will start that, uh, start it with. First, I'd like to describe, first, I would like to describe, 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 what do you want to describe in here? Describe some of the rules at, 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 at my school. At my school, and then, and then i i will i will tell about you can also start this this way nidhi look in this okay. essay in this essay okay in this essay in this essay first i will first i will okay i will 
I will what, Nidhi? Tell me, what will you write next? First, I will. I will talk about. Talk about. Hmm. At my school. Talk about uh, some rules. Talk about. Talk some. about some rules. About some rules at my school. At my school. Okay, then. Hmm? Then, after that, I will tell about. After that. I will tell about. After that. After that, I will. Tell about. Tell about. Tell about what, Nidhi? After that, I will tell about? The school rules. Why? Why school rules? Why, why we have school rules in school? Right? Yes. yes. Tell about why? There are rules at or in oh. the schools. In the schools, Nidhi, do you understand? Yes, I understood. This is the this is the beginning of it. Uh, essay. Let me rules. Uh oh. Rules in the school. Hmm. You understand? Now this is the beginning. I want you to reread read it. Read it, please. In this essay, first I will talk about some rules at my school. After that, I will tell about why there are rules in the schools. Hmm. Why there are rules in the school? Okay, so uh, Nidhi, we were talking about, in this essay, first I will talk about some rules at my school. After that, I yes. will tell about why, why why, why there are rules in the school. This is the beginning of it. We call it the introduction to the essay. Yeah? Yes. Then we'll, we have some outline in here in front of us. You know that. We have uh, what are some rules at school? And then we have on the other side, why do we need rules at school? So now it is time to make a. Uh, now it is time to put these points into a paragraph. Okay. Sorry. So you can write in here. Um, uh, first, I'd like to. Describing some of the rules at school. How will you say? Describing. Describing. Some of the. Some of the rules. Rules. The rules at school. At school. Or Nidhi, you can start off with easy. Some of the school, some of the rules at school are some of the rules at at the school. Who are are as I always tell you that use these semicolons there. This means that next is the example you're going to give. To be on time. To, to be, be on time. On time. To be on time. You can write a little bit of your uh, to be on time, yes. and and do don't use your mobile. Yes. Don't use, use your mobile. mobile. Comma. What's the next one? Don't wear makeup. Don't wear makeup. Don't wear makeup and wear proper uniform. Wear proper uniform. Now, Nidhi, in here we have already told about some important uh, rules at school. Then you can say that. Schools are very strict about these rules and they punish if they, these rules are not followed, okay? 
So there is, yeah. So there, there is schools are very strict. Schools are very, very strict. strict. Strict about strict about the these rules. rules. These rules. Students are punished for breaking the rules. Students are punished breaking the rules for breaking for breaking these rules for breaking these rules for hmm. breaking rules for um, for breaking these rules now start the next paragraph in here and what will you write in the next one now i want to talk about why rules are needed at school right now right. now i, I want talk. to talk about now i want to, I talk, want about to talk about why you we need rules in at school good job why we need rules oh. at school, school. <laughs> You will again put semicolon. This means the next example is there. For discipline. Yes. For discipline in students. Okay. For discipline. Uh, how do you write discipline? Discipline. D -I -S -C for discipline. Yeah. For discipline in students. Yeah. Second point. Teach value and respect. To the students, yeah, to teach. To teach value. Values, to teach values and, and respect. And respect. Hmm. To, to, to teach yeah, to others. others. To students, okay. Let's go with students. But you don't have to repeat the word students again and again. Otherwise, it will be too many words. Okay, then. Uh, and to teach to teach good behavior. Yes. You can try that. Okay, to teach. To, to teach, teach. Good behavior. To teach. Good. Behavior. Behavior. Okay. You can write here. Uh, to teach good behavior, behave, be behavior to students. Can we say that? Yes. Let's see it. Like behavior to student. Students. Then more. Next point. To avoid argument or fight at school. To avoid arguments argument and fight. And fights at school. school. Yeah. Yes. Okay. More. Sense to teach, of to quality. teach a sense of to teach a sense of equality to students. To teach yes. a sense of sense of equality. Equality means that everybody's same. Same. Equality? Yes. Equality, 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 sense of equality, equality to the students, to the students, and last and last but not the least, and lastly, to teach a sense of similarity, and lastly, and lastly. To teach sense of similarity. Teach sense of similarity. Similarity. Okay? We can give more examples here. When I was in my school, 
now nidhi tell me about your school in your school uh, all students are nice or some students are good and some students are bad some students is bad hmm uh, uh, good st students sit sit front a bad students sit on the back Okay, I understand that. Okay, but Nidhi, we need to attach it with why schools uh, have rules. So you can say that, uh, for example, for example, for example, I I also have all these rules, all these rules. in my school. school we are already talking yeah uh in in for example already i also have all these rules in my school and my principal is very strict about following these rules right right and my principal very strict principal is very strict about about this following is following these rules. rules or there's a better way that one one day i also i also uh, did not follow the rules what was the rule you can say that i wore makeup one day i was i wore a little lipstick one day and i was punished by my yes principal right so for example right. let's give another better example here okay for example uh, for example Or wait a second. You can say, for example, one day, one day, I I didn't wear proper uniform. I didn't I, I, didn't, I didn't wear proper in proper uniform. uniform proper uniform. Then and I was also wearing. I was also carrying my phone with me and. I was, and all, I, I was also carrying my phone with me. With me. My teacher or my principal, my principal did not allow me to enter in the class, didn't? Yes. Allow did me to, to enter the class. In the class and also complained to my parents. Enter yes. in the class and, and also complain. complained to my parents, complained to my parents. parents. <laughs> after that, after that, after that punishment, I always wore proper uniform, right? Yes. After yes. that punishment, I after always... that punishment, punishment, I always wore, I always wore, wore proper uniform, proper yeah. uniform mm. and follow all the rules and follow, follow all the rules. All the rules. Didi, you understand me? At the end, I yeah. just give one example. Is it difficult? No. No, Nidhi, it is not difficult. I would want you to pay more attention to it. Okay. And I hope so. Something good will turn up. Can you read it once for me before I leave quickly because my battery is dying? Okay. Hmm. In this essay, first I will talk about some rule at my school. After that, I will tell about why there are rules in the school some of the rules at school are to be on time don't use your mobile don't wear makeup wear proper uniform 
स्कूल आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट अबाउट दिस रूल्स स्टूडेंट्स आर पनिश फॉर ब्रेकिंग दिस रूल्स नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट वाई वी नीड्स रूल्स एट स्कूल फॉर डिसिप्लिन इन स्टूडेंट्स टू टीच वैल्यू एंड रिस्पेक्ट टू स्टूडेंट्स टू टीच गुड बिहेवियर टू स्टूडेंट to avoid argument and fight at school to teach a sense sense equality to the students and lastly to teach sense of simul similarity for example one day i did, did didn't wear proper uniform and i was carrying my phone with me my principal didn't allow me to enter in the class and also complained to my parents after that punishment i always wore proper uniform and follow all the rules thank you so much for joining me